So you may be wondering, why the heck did I buy a Ryobi toolkit? Because I have a lot of other tools. In fact, I've been lucky enough to get a lot of tools sent to me by different tool companies like Bosch, DeWalt, Porter Cable, Milwaukee. So why would I buy these? And I'll tell you why, because they're extremely popular. In fact, if you go on the Home Depot website in Canada, this combo here, which is an impact driver and a drill, two batteries and a charger and a nice little bag, it comes in at around $150 plus tax. And of all those reviews online, there is over 450 five-star reviews, okay? So I know there is a stigmatism about how Ryobi makes really cheap, low-quality tools. And I think cheap there is in the wrong contents. They are cheap in price. Are they cheap in quality? Well, we'll find out. But uh, I've been getting these tools really for my Instagram account. I've been doing a series called Best Value Tool Reviews. And Best Value, I think, finds it's a good range because value has nothing to do with how much money you have. So, say a DIY or homeowner would find these to be very good value, but say a contractor would also find maybe an expensive $500, $600 tool to be a good value to him. So it covers a, a wide range of tools, and today we're going to be focusing on Ryobi. And this video has been brought to you by Coffee. So this is the combo that I'll be looking at. Uh, the OnePlus series has over 70 tools and it's new and improved with a three year warranty. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna see when you open the box is the very nice padded case that it comes in. And inside that, you're gonna get the uh, instruction manual, throw that away. Everything is very packed in there very well. You have the impact driver itself, and you have the drill driver. This kit also includes a belt clip, as you can see, for the impact driver. Two batteries, they're 1.3 amp hour. And of course a charger. So the first thing you're going to notice about these tools are they are a very nice pukey green color. So let's start by looking at the impact driver. So when you buy a budget impact driver, there's a few uh, features that you are going to have to live without that do come on a more premium driver, like this Milwaukee Surge. This is not a comparison between these two, because this Milwaukee Surge costs three or four times more than this Ryobi impact driver. But I'll show you a few of the features that you're going to have to live without. So one thing you're going to have to live without is a battery indicator. So on this Milwaukee, there's an indicator on the battery. So if I press down on this, I can easily see the amount of charge I have left. That can be convenient. Um, if you're working to see how much charge you have left, see if you can complete the task or if you have to start charging your batteries. On this Ryobi, it did come in this kit with the 1.3 amp hour batteries, which have no battery indicator at all on it on the battery or the tool. The same with this porter cable, there is no indicator on the battery or the tool. Is that a deal breaker? For most people who are buying this Ryobi, homeowners or DIYers, it's probably not going to be the end of the world. It is a nice feature to have though. Another feature you are not going to get on a, on a, a budget priced uh, impact driver is different speeds. So if you look at this Milwaukee, I have the choice of a few different speeds. As you can see, I can select them. So speed one is precision, speed two, medium, speed three is, um, is high, and then I have a self-tapping screw mode. So there's three different speeds. The Ryobi and also the Porter Cable, which is similar price, don't have any speeds at all. It is a one speed impact driver. It is all controlled by a variable speed trigger. So what that means is the speed of the impact driver is controlled by how much pressure you put on the trigger. So if I push down a little bit, you can see this, the chuck is spinning very slowly. If I push it down all the way, I get, a, I get a high speed. So high speed all the way down, and you can basically feather it to get the amount of, of speed that you want. Is it the end of the world if you don't have a different speed impact driver? Of course not. Ryobi does actually make a three speed impact driver now. It is not. It was not available in the kit. It is a little more expensive and this is the more popular one so I did choose this one. So things you're gonna have to live without, battery indicator, multiple speeds. Um, one good thing that I like about the Ryobi is it did come with a belt clip. This is a huge honking belt clip but at least it's included. On the Porter cable there's no belt clip. There's nowhere to put one and it obviously is not included with the kit. So a belt clip is very handy, especially if you're climbing a ladder, you can just latch that onto your pocket or a belt and not have to worry about holding um, it in your hand. 
So I'll give Ryobi thumbs up for putting a belt clip on their, on their impact driver. So in general, there's a few features that you're going to have to live without, but for most people that are going to be buying this Ryobi, homeowners and DIYers, it's not going to be a deal breaker. So there is one feature that I just noticed, and I can't believe I haven't noticed it until now, that the Ryobi impact driver and drill lacks. And if you compare it to these three, these three are about the same price, the Black & Decker um, and the Porter Cable and this Ryobi, they're all about $100 Canadian if you buy just the one. And they all have similar size batteries. Um, again, this has a belt clip, this is great. The Porter Cable and, and Black & Decker do not have a belt clip. But they do have another feature that the Ryobi doesn't. Now if you notice the tools from the front, this has a light, this has a light, there's no LED light on the Ryobi. Is that a deal breaker? No, it's not really a deal breaker. It is a very convenient feature though that they should have added, I think. So here's just a few pictures to show you the size difference between these uh, budget impact drivers. See, they're all around the same size, the Ryobi being the largest, coming in at around 7 inches, which is quite large. And if you compare that to uh, even a step up to a more premium impact driver, you can see there is quite a size difference. So now let's check out the drill. So when it comes to buying a budget price drill, like this Ryobi or this Porter Cable, there's a few features that you are not going to get that are available on more premium drills, like this top of the line DeWalt hammer drill. I'm not again comparing this hammer drill from DeWalt to this Ryobi because it does cost three times more. There's just a few features that I'm going to show you that you will not get on a more budget price drill like this Ryobi and Porter Cable drill. So again, same with the impact driver, um, a premium tool will have a battery indicator on it. So I can easily tell the charge of this battery and how much more work I can do with it. The Ryobi and this port cable do not have a battery indicator on the battery or on the tool. This is pretty much common on most tools that are under $100, so it's not a big deal. Um, you will have to again guess or have an extra battery ready when you're working just in case your battery dies because you will never know when your battery is dying. So another thing that you're not going to get on the Ryobi is an LED light. For some reason, they did not include that in this design. Um, it said new and improved on the box. I really expected it to have one because I've never really bought a drill that never had one on it. Even my Block & Decker drill has an LED light on it. So I'm going to take this one away right now. We're just going to compare these two. So in general, they're very similar drills. They both have a, a clutch on the top, two-speed transmission. Speed one would be for driving screws. It's more torque. Speed two is for drilling. But in general, they're very similar. The Ryobi's a little longer, um, but they both have very comfortable grips. In general, the only difference, again, is that this one has an LED light. This one doesn't. So let's talk quickly about the grip of this impact driver and drill. Another thing you're going to have to consider is uh, the grip. Now for me I have medium sized hands. Um, this grip here is very comfortable. The overmold is very comfortable but at the same time it is a very thick handle. So to me it's, it's fairly comfortable um, but there are obviously on higher end impact drivers like this Bosch IDH 182 the grip is a lot slimmer and it fits my hand a lot better. Now of course this this impact driver is a lot more expensive. You're going to get better grips with more expensive tools. Is this a deal breaker? Of course not. If you have smaller hands, um, a lot of women may find this grip a little bit fat. Um, but in general, it's not going to be a deal breaker. You're not going to be holding this tool and using it all day like a professional. So the grip discomfort is not going to be that big of a deal for most people I find. So this is a super handy magnet that's built into the drill and the driver and it does hold screws very well. As you can see it's very convenient so you don't have to have them in your hand. And as you can see the magnet does quite a good job holding quite a few screws. So here's just a quick comparison between the batteries that came in the kit. They're 1.3 amp hour. There is no battery indicator again on these batteries. This is a 1 plus 4 amp hour. Um, battery it's going to cost a little more it does have a battery indicator built in and more capacity as you can see so i was pretty happy with the, the quality of this padded bag that it comes with it will hold both the tools the charger and the batteries and also some other items all right so that is my first initial thoughts and opinions on the ryobi one plus 
drill and impact driver. Now, again, just to sum up the whole thing, these are great value tools. $150 comes with two tools, two batteries, a charger, and a three-year warranty. Now, I will be comparing them and reviewing them eventually in a few weeks or a few months. You cannot review something right off the bat after opening it. If you're reviewing a tool that looks this new, the review is probably crap. So we're gonna give it a few weeks and a few months of use, and then we're gonna do some comparisons against similar priced tools such as Porter Cable, Black & Decker, and uh, some low-end DeWalt stuff. So in general, I'd love to hear your comments. Please comment below. Do you like Ryobi tools? Do you use a lot of them? Have you had bad experiences with them? How is the warranty like? I'd like to hear all that stuff. Please keep your comments appropriate. I will delete uh, comments that are um, very negative and have swearing in them just because some people are idiots. But anyway, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And if you'd like to see more reviews like this on budget DIY tools, please subscribe to this channel where I'm uploading a new video every week. Thanks, guys.